Hi, my name's Charlie. And my name's Liam. And this is our dog Cleo, who's got nothing whatsoever to do with this project. Our side project is on Archimedes' principle of buoyancy. Or as we like to prefer to call it, Why Boats Float! Our first experiment was to find out about displacement. A boat designed to float is based on the theory of this old chap, Archimedes. So the story goes, he was asked by the king to find out whether a laurel crown was made of pure gold. Or whether silver had been added by a dishonest goldsmith. Da, da, da! But he had a problem because he could not melt it down, measure it and weigh it which would have been the easiest solution. While Archimedes was taking a bath, he noticed something about the water. This dotted line shows the level of the water before he got in. Then, after he got in, he noticed the water level rose. The second dotted line shows the new level of the water. He realised by putting the crown in the water, he could find out its volume. Archimedes was so excited, he rushed down the road naked, shouting, Eureka! Archimedes saw that when something is put in the water, it is pushed up by the force equal to the weight of the water displaced. Our second experiment is to show how to get something to float. We use two chunks of plasticine, both the same size. I put my chunk on the water to see if it would float. Do you think it would float or sink? It sank, of course. I moulded my chunk into the shape of a boat and put it into the water. Do you think it floated? You bet it did. Yay! Eureka! Yay! By comparing our two chunks side by side, you can see how my boat shaped chunk will displace more water. And therefore, the water is pushing up more force. The plus scene floats when it has displaced just enough water to equal its own weight. This principle is called buoyancy. Some ships are enormous metal shells, but are less dense and lighter than the water that they push away, which allows them to float. Our third and last experiment was to find out about stability. If you want to stay inside your boat, and get where you're going, your boat must have stability. Stability means it is not designed to tip over easily. Your boat will be stable if the centre of buoyancy is below the centre of gravity. If you put too much weight on one side of the boat, the centre of gravity shifts, making the boat unstable. If the centre of gravity shifts below the centre of buoyancy, guess what happens? Ah! So, our conclusion, when something is put in the water, the water is displaced and the water pushes an upwards force against the object. Displacement! The amount of water displaced must be equal to the weight of the object. Buoyancy! 
The center of gravity must stay above the center of buoyancy. Stability! Displacement! Buoyancy! Stability!